Hey guys, this is Sam, and today we're talking about iOS 10.3.3 Beta 5, which Apple released to developers earlier today at the time of recording this video. And if you happen to be a public beta tester as well, I'm sure you'll see the same update rolling your way in just a little bit later today at the very latest. So iOS 10.3.3 is a weird update because we're seeing new betas pretty frequently and I'm always a big fan of updates, but at the same time, Apple is not being transparent as to what this update fixes. The release notes on their official developer website, what would usually be an indication of what's changing, have not changed whatsoever since iOS 10.3.3 beta 1. Every time I go to check, I dream, I hope that there will be some change, even if it's a bug fix that at least Apple outlines. But still, there is no change. The release notes are identical to beta 1, and Apple still has not given us any clue as to what's coming with iOS 10.3.3. That being said, the update has not been entirely absent of changes. If we remember back to beta 1, we saw those new wallpapers, which was super exciting. You guys seem to love those, and if you haven't seen them yet, I'll definitely leave the wallpaper link down below in the description, but I think they all look really great. The only problem is that Apple only has those exclusive to the new iPad Pros. Why that's a thing, I have no idea. It's super frustrating for everybody that wants pre-installed wallpapers on their devices, and truthfully, I feel like it's not that hard for Apple to create different versions for the iPhone. I mean, I can do it in an app on my computer right now. It just seems really frustrating why they're restricting it to iPads only. It makes sense that they are for marketing materials and they're exclusive to those new iPad Pros, but it still seems like it'd be nice if they just gave them to everyone. And as a quick update to something that I mentioned last week, I noted that there was a new spotlight search bug. When you swipe down, it looked a little bit different, had a weird blur effect. I wasn't certain that that was a bug though. I thought it might be a new animation, but it definitely was because in iOS 10.3.3 beta 5, it looks like it always has. When iOS 10.3.3 is released at some point in the future, because we have seen practically no changes, I can almost guarantee that it's gonna be a very similar security update like iOS 10.3.2, where nothing really changes, all of a sudden we get it, and then there's a ton of security updates making iOS more secure in the background. I could not imagine Apple planning anything else in later betas, and I'm sure it's gonna come out well before the end of July, just because it has been in beta testing for quite some time. Anyway, if new changes are discovered after this video goes live, you know the drill, I'll update the blog post down below in the description. And if you enjoyed watching this video, it'd really help me out if you hit that like button, and hit subscribe as well if you're interested in more iOS content. I've been Sam, I hope you're doing great, and I'll talk to you later.